What's up, guys? Justin here with the CGEssentials.com, back with another character creator tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the Headshot plugin for Character Creator in order to quickly create characters from photos in Character Creator. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Headshot is a plugin for Character Creator that you can download, and basically what it does is it allows you to use photos in order to create 3D characters um, inside of Character Creator. So then you can bring those over into Blender, or if you use like Unity or Unreal Engine or something like that, you can do that as well. But what I wanted to do was talk through kind of the basics of how to do this, some of the things that are more important, and then we could kind of go from there. So um, first thing that's going to be really important when you do this is you're going to want to make sure that you're using a clear, well-lit picture. And so they've actually got guidelines on their website of how to do that. Um, so we've got some different images and other things like that to give us kind of an example. So one thing you don't want, so basically what it's doing is it's gonna be taking this photo, it's gonna be using it to texture um, a character inside a character creator. And so if you have something like this that has shadows, then what's gonna happen is this side of the face is gonna look really dark. So in addition, they recommend having like a neutral expression. You don't wanna show teeth or anything like that because that's gonna kind of mess up the way that the texture gets applied to the mesh. And then you also wanna make sure that the angle is straight on. And so um, you do also, want to make sure that you've got uh, the hair kind of back away in the image because otherwise what happens is you start getting the hair kind of straying into the image that goes onto the face. The biggest thing you can do to improve quality is to make sure that you have a good image. All right, and so what we want to do is we want to bring in an image. So I've got this video that I took, or I've got this image that I took of myself after I've been wearing a hat. So the hair and everything is really crazy, but the nice thing about it is it kind of keeps the hair back from around the perimeter of the face right here. So what we want to do is we want to bring that in to Character Creator. So I'm going to open up Character Creator, and we want to open up the Headshot panel right here. And there's two options in here. There's the options for either auto or pro. So auto is gonna be fully automatic. So when you do auto, um, fully automatic just means that you can drag your face in here and it'll do this automatically. Pro gives us more options in here. So I thought we'd kind of take a look at pro. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag that image onto our screen like this. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a few different options to start with. So it's gonna give you options for um, male, female, baby, or neutral. Uh, we're gonna go with male. And then it's gonna give you options down here for you can either do clean soft, clean rough, beard and scalp, or old. In this case, we're just gonna do clean soft. And we're gonna click on the button for generate. And so when we click on the button for generate, what that's gonna do is that's gonna analyze the image. And it's gonna come in here and it's gonna match the image to a mesh that we can use in order to create our character. And so this is basically come in here and this is applied the image that it took as a texture to the facial mesh. And so what you can do from here is you can actually come in here and you can actually adjust the shape in order to make it fit a little bit better. Honestly, I think it did a really good job in here, but there are some things we could adjust. So what you could do is you could click on the button for activate sculpt morph. And so what sculpt morph is going to do is that's going to allow us to come in here and actually adjust the way that the face is set up. And so basically what this does is this breaks the face up into different like morph modes, right? So there's face, there's contour, um, then there's eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. And what those are going to do is those are going to allow us to come in here and really quickly make adjustments. So notice how, for example, if I drag in or out, that's going to adjust the size of the face right here. And so that can be a really helpful tool for coming in here and trying to match different parts of your face to the actual image that's being created. And so the nice thing about this is it's not very destructive. So you can actually come in here and you can just kind of play around with things. And it's really easy to get stuff back um, if you didn't get it before. Notice how right now, by the way, this is in symmetrical mode. Um, if you wanted to, you could uncheck symmetrical mode and just adjust one side or the other. Usually you want to stay in symmetrical mode, but um, that's okay. You can kind of do that however you want. But then you can also get some more detailed areas in here. So things like around the eyes and other things like that. And so you can drag if the eyes are going to be up and down um, and kind of how that's going to fit. You can adjust like the size of the brows and how this is going to sit on your brows in the model. So, and again, all you want to do is you just want to come in here and you just want to kind of match up with the photo. 
And so then you can also get really in depth with like the eyes or the nose. So for example, for the nose, for me, you know, I could drag this down or up um, depending on how I think that that image should look. So it gives you a lot of control over that to make adjustments. And so you can also adjust the opacity of the photo that's in here. So if you want to see the photo more strongly, you can drag this to the left. If you want to see it less strongly, you can drag it to the right. And so notice how right now what this is doing is this is basically just showing us the textured mesh. There's also an option over here for activate image matching tools. And so you can use the image matching tools in here as well. Um, and what that's going to allow you to do is that's going to allow you to actually see the image that's in here. You can also adjust the opacity of the photo so you can get closer or further away to seeing this. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to adjust the chin. Let's say we wanted to adjust it out a little bit and the face in. Well, what you can do is you can make those adjustments. And then there's a button in here for reproject photo. And so when you reproject the photo, what that's going to do is that's going to take the photo and just project it on this image again, just like this. So I'm actually pretty happy with the result that's been created in here so far. There are some other options down below as well, which can help you kind of adjust that even more. So you can adjust things like the eye color texture, as well as there's some interesting things down here for the way that the image is masked onto the face. Because notice what this is doing is this is basically taking this image and applying it to the face. Well, there's options down here for how that blend works. Because basically, and we can probably toggle off Sculpt More for right now, but basically what that's doing, and let's see if we can see it, is it's merging the texture together from your image right here to the image over here. And so what it's doing is it's using a blend mask in order to do that. And so sometimes if you have like hair in your image or something like that, you can adjust the way that that face mask goes in here. So like, for example, notice how now this is an image that's pulling basically the triangle of your face in here. But if you were to select the option, and so if we were to set this to like no mask at all, and click on update the skin texture, what that's going to do is that's going to go back in and that's actually not going to mask anything out. So that can give you some really weird results with the hair. So I don't necessarily recommend doing no mask, but if you do have something where like the hair parts to the right or something like that, you can set that where that'll kind of mask out that piece. So you can kind of try to avoid having the hair coming across the forehead. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go to the default even. I'm going to update my skin texture. And then uh, we can take a look at our final result. All right, so now we've got a full on character in here with the face from the photo that you generated. Well, then you could go back into your uh, galleries and add things like hair or other things like that. So for example, and so I'm just gonna bring in some hair and just drag it onto the model. Well, notice how what this does is this allows us to create that 3D person really quickly. So I was able to use this photo and generate what I think is a pretty good image of myself using just a simple photo like that. And you can make it even faster by going into the auto mode as well. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more character creator tutorials on this channel. I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, I will link to character creator below if that's something that you're interested in checking out as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.